Here are new details. The gym in St. Joseph is now open despite getting a cease and desist order. The CU Public Health Administrator posted it on the door last night. WCI3's Karina Rubio talked with gym members and its lawyer about what reopening means. The governor's five-phase plan for reopening Illinois is receiving pushback from politicians and businesses across the state, including one in St. Joseph. The zone gym is getting help from attorney Thomas DeVore. He sent a letter to CUPHD several days ago, stating that the gym was planning to reopen if it did not take formal legal action against it. DeVore says instead of a response, he and his client were met with a cease and desist order. Just as it planned, the zone did open up its doors at 8 a.m. to gym members. The first member that walked through the doors says he's in full support of his gym reopening. He says the zone is meeting safety standards and providing masks to the people that want one. There are very few people in here, and we're not at risk. We know what we need to do to be healthy. So does the gym. So I think it's part of our constitutional right to be able to exercise our freedom to go to a business, to work out, and continue life as it has been. Shortly after the first few members walked in, the sheriff and health department followed, but came back out minutes later. DeVore says he did not appreciate officials intimidating his clients or their customers. Uh, that's one of the most egregious actions I've had by any of the 100 plus clients I have trying to open their businesses fairly and respectfully. DeVore is helping businesses reopen across 40 counties. He says if the health department believes the zone is a health risk, it must close them in a legal manner instead. I respect that. Please have your state's attorney file what's called an action in quarantine. Uh, the law provides and we will be in court and the honorable court will make a decision. In St. Joseph, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Now, the Champaign County State's Attorney responded late this afternoon saying the cease and desist notice was the first step in the process. Given the response from the business and its legal counsel, we are working with CUPHD and appropriate state agencies on next steps. Several other zone locations have also opened for business. That includes a gym in Shelbyville.